This story appears in the September 30, 2019 issue of Forbes magazine. Subscribe Patrick Byrne, the founder and longtime CEO of former retailing giant Overstock.com, recently resigned, saying his involvement as a federal informant in the investigation of accused Russian spy Maria Putin and made performing his duties impossible. That's not the whole story. This is. It's early May and Patrick Byrne has just gotten off the phone with hip-hop artist Akon and is roaming barefoot in the elegant three-room suite on the top floor of the Jefferson Hotel, a stone's throw from Embassy Row in Washington, D. C. He grabs a Diet Coke, a pack of gummy bears and some M&M's fro. I hear he's a musician. We share ambitions for Africa, says Byrne, popping a gummy bear into his mouth. Byrne, who bought Overstock? Come in 1999 and ran it for two decades, has always been a man of many ambitions. High on his list, transforming the African continent and its one. 3 billion people via blockchain technology. Like an infomercial for the NASA decentralized, distributed ledger technology that underlies cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. He waxes poetic about a future in which corruption is wiped out, people are freed from poverty and developing nations can leapfrog ahead by putting government functions like Characteristically low on his priority list, the economic interests of the thousands of shareholders in his publicly traded former retailing giant For the last several years, Burn, 56 spend no fewer than 220 days a year on the road spreading his blockchain gospel, despite the fact that Overstock was hemorrhaging cash. Over the next five years, we can change the world for 5 billion people, says Byrne. Well, at least a billion. Maybe 5 billion. Byrne is vague about why he is in the nation's capital this week and mentions a meeting with representatives from Africa about his blockchain projects. However, he later reveals that he had been meeting with the Department of Justice. Byrne claims he has been serving as a government informant, feeding information since 2015 to the men in black. As he puts it, on Maria Buzna, a vivacious Russian grad student with whom he struck up a romantic relationship. 